Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And if you've watched um, any of my videos that I've ever done with guitars, you will have always heard either the Boss Katana, mic'd up or the I sometimes, or you would have heard any one of the normal DSP plugins direct from the computer, depending on what sort of tones I'm doing. Uh, you would have always have heard either or. And in this video, I wanted to put them sort of both together, looking first of all at just my sort of edge of breakup you know, dirty, clean kind of strat sound. Um, so I think what we'll do is I'll show you the settings on the Katana and how I tend to run it, and then also what the plugin is and the settings within that plugin. And then you'll you'll hear the amp and the plugins back and forth. Uh, you'll know which one you're hearing. And then I'll come back and sort of talk about, you know, cost, uses that I would recommend depending on what you want. And um, yeah, a few other things as well. So I'll see you in a second. So this is how I have my um, katana set up for that sort of, you know, broken clean edge of breakup kind of thing uh, on a strat. Uh, I tend to have it on the crunch channel, gain around 10 o'clock. Volume I will come back to in a minute. Uh, the EQ, I back the bass off a little bit because the cab that it's into is, is a, it's quite a bassy cab anyway. Um, mids and treble around noon not using any of the drives or anything. Little tiny bit of um, delay and reverb, both on the greens, very subtle. Presence at around 10 o'clock, and I tend to run it on the 50 watt mode. Uh, and a little tip for Katana users that I found to improve it is, if you run the master quite high, and then control the overall volume with the channel volume, I find that the katana responds a lot better. So the opposite way to what you'd think. You'd think gun the volume and then control it with the master like you would on a valve amp. Uh, but I find the katana works better doing it the other way around. So anyone who hasn't tried that, I uh, definitely suggest doing so. And um, the cab, as you can see, is a Marshall um, JCM900 uh, 2x12 cab with the GT1275 speakers. So the plug-in then is the um, Neural Archetype Corey Wong, which is what I tend to use for any kind of Strat videos. Uh, it will vary from video to video which of the plugins I use, but like I said, in this one, um, this is what we're using. So you, you open it up into your um, recording software and the pedals you have, I'm just using the compression. So I'm just basically pushing the front of the amp volume and compression wise, just to give that breakup sound. The amp settings itself, I'm using what they call the amp snob within the plugin. There are three different ones. Um, set reasonably flat. Again, I'm just pushing the volume a little bit. And then with the EQ, I'm just adding a tiny bit of mid range just to help with that edge of breakup kind of sound. And then on the speakers, it's simulating a 2x12 cab with uh, two microphones, like I said before. And that's the settings for each one left and right there. And then I'm just adding a little tiny bit of subtle reverb. And this plugin is being run on the left and right channel. So you're hearing both of them at the same time, split left and right.
which one of those was set and you heard the sound examples just there. Um, so let me know which one it was you preferred. When you put them one against the other, you can absolutely hear the difference. But like I said before, in all of my videos, sometimes it's the katana, sometimes it's the plugins. It just depends on uh, when I'm filming, if I need to be extra quiet, you know, all that sort of thing. And when you're sort of trying to say or give advice to which route you think you should go down, it's very difficult to kind of give a clear, um, you know, analogy between them, should we say, because starting off with, um, with costs, I suppose, let's say you were going, you know, a lot of people have katanas, so I think it's a good mid-range, you know, amp that a lot of people have. So let's say you're going for the katana, and just to keep it close to mind, either it's the head and a cab, or it's the 100 watt 2x12 or something like that. Um, if you shop around the used market, you, sh you should be able to get that for the sort of 350 to 400 pounds mark uh, quite easily. Um, and that, you know, assuming you've already got your guitar, etc., is your entire outlay. That's going to give you plenty of different sounds, plenty of different effects. And it's just for you at home, you know, just playing the guitar kind of thing. It's going to give you all kinds of different sounds. Um, whereas with the computer, and again, this has to assume you already have a computer that's, you know, modern and decent enough to run a plug-in. You know, the modern sort of things are quite hard on computers, so you're going to need a fairly decent PC. Um, then you're going to need an audio interface, so anywhere from sort of 100 quid up. And then you're going to need the plugins themselves. And I've tried many, many, and I find the Nora DSP ones, regardless of style, whether it's the clean stuff or driven stuff, there's a plug-in for all of it and they are very, very good. But again, each one of those is around the sort of, uh, it's in euros, but let's just say £100 per plug-in. So the computer route is definitely a more expensive route in this comparison. Um, however, if you are thinking about recording, you know, if you had an amp in the house, you're just adding that, the cost of that amp to the cost of the interface, the computer, uh, and all the software anyway. So if you want to record, my advice would be get yourself an audio interface, there's many, many available, something like a third gen Focusrite or some of the Presonus ones, um, around the £100 mark for a simple, smaller one. And any of the Nora DSP plugins, there's, there's, there's 14 day free trials on all of them and you can find the one that suits you. I think that if you do any, so if you plan on doing any kind of recording or videos like this, you're much better served computer and plug-in route than you are amp route. But if you're just playing guitar and you don't, especially if you don't already have a computer, I would say that something like a Boss Katana and that's it, you know, the whole thing, you don't need anything else really, is going to be a great choice. So I'm struggling to sort of say which one I'd recommend because there's so, so many variables. Are you shopping new? Are you shopping used? Do you want to record? Do you just want to play guitar? It's a very difficult thing to say. Um, but from this video, tell me which one of the sounds, just purely sound speaking, uh, you prefer. And I want to do, I want to expand on this. This is just an opening sort of introduction to this kind of video. And I want to hear from you what you want to hear, um, whether it's humbuckers, different types of sounds, uh, whether you want two mics on the katana to sort of get, you know, because the plugins modeling two microphones. And yeah, just this is like an introductory video into home recording and sounds and whether you, you should have something like a katana or an amp or computers and plugins. It's just generally that sort of the start of looking at those two things in a separate video series. So uh, give me your ideas because I definitely need to sort of listen to you guys as to how to make these next couple of videos in this. And um and that's it. In the next video, we're going to be looking at a, um, a jazz master, uh, first one on the channel, I think, and the first one I've played and how I would use a jazz master. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you on another video.